opinions and stories around the game we love told by your favorite storytellers stay up to date with all things cricket subscribe to crick buzz's youtube channel and press that bell icon now Funny old innings from David Warner. He was bombarded with the short ball attack. At one stage today, it felt like we were here in 1932-33 with the leg side field, albeit with the Jardine's ring was out on the rope, not around the bat at leg slip. But he got through that interrogation, but out for the second time uh, in the space of two test matches in the 90s. He's only done it three times in his whole test career. Also out for 95. Um, you could see how gutted he was when giving a catch to Stuart Broad at point, having the previous ball bludgeoned through mid-wicket for four. Um, but still, with bruised ribs and all the rest of it, he's helped later his foundation. Oh, it was a brilliant innings uh, from David Warner. He had to weather a few storms earlier in the day. Uh, I thought England bowled really well to him early, particularly Stuart Broad, and we all know the history behind that that uh, contest as well. So, you know, I, 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 he, I've never seen David Warner score so slowly in yeah. the early part of his innings, but he then slowly just started to find his mojo, and um, by the end he was batting beautifully and, and, and really timing the ball well. Unlucky. Not to not to break a hundred. I think he picked out the only person fielding for, uh, on the offside yes. forward of the uh, forward of the wicket. So unlucky for David Warner. He deserved a hundred. Yeah, Ben Stokes couldn't believe his luck. He was on his hands and knees, almost laughing when they got that wicket. Warner, 20 balls to get off the mark, 36 balls for his first boundary. He's never had numbers like that before. But there he was, a major contributor today. Um, you were on comms when Warner got out as well in the 90s. A lot of people watching along in India thought you might have put the mockers on him. Yes, they they did. Uh, well, my, my belief is that. Whatever I say in the commentary box has no influence <laughs> with what's happening in the middle. So, um, but yeah, Shane Warney was not happy with me whatsoever for uh, making a, an early call about a Warner 100. So I apologise if I, if I have caused any, but I still have the belief. So I stupidly came out and said, oh, well, don't worry, I'm sure Labashane will get 100. And he's still 95, not out on stuff. So I'm going to have a bit of a nervous night tonight. But uh, no, I, I used to be superstitious, but I'm not superstitious anymore. So yeah, I, don't, I don't believe in all that sort of stuff. We've always said, Harsher and I, on this segment, that the, the, the commentary curse does not exist. So get out of our DMs on that particular point. Yeah.